She's got to be with our project, down that hall. <clears throat> Project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit Welcome on the top to floor. The Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, the Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Algae forms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep-sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, something I'm in that you one. Might see the Power. Uh, Levite. Love it. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy or memory metal. Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved.
architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Um. Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Oh, shiny. Take Ooh, a shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. This Oscorp rover, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. Did you ever move to space? You know. It was nice of your dad to drop us off. We would have gotten here faster if you turned on the sirens. <laughs> Definitely would have made an entrance. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum map. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a phononic band cap. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. Still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. Oh, 
Hey, look. Solar mirrors. You're sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Take one. I'll put the sticker on the metal. Let's go. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker is pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. I need something else. No, not quite. We gotta try again. Worked. We did it. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm going to make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Are you still thinking about applying for Oscorp's engineering fellowship? Oh, I got in. You forgot to tell me? One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. Energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station.
project. Oh, ho, ho, we! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, hello. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that.
need to get to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. <sighs> Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Bad. Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. There was about a dozen people. You're breaking up. Who are you? Yankee! Look at all these people. If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. I've never seen a storm this bad. Genki, can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Oh, hey, safe. Hey, hey, in the barbershop was okay. But I need to push the fighting away from here. Camila, are you with Caleb? Are you okay? See, we're with Gloria, but again, this is bad. It's the price all over again. It won't get that far. I won't let it. Keep your heads down till I secure the streets.
Make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there? Guys! Guys! Listen, hey! We need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. What? She started already. Get out of here, young blood! Whoa. You've got more important things to do. He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people! Check every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No! You don't know what 
you're doing! They deserve what's coming to them! No! The reactor! Krieger changed the specs. You're not just gonna destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem! I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! <laughs>
Spider-Man. Death wheels. Okay. Be happening. I can stop it. I'm sorry. It's 
okay. much longer. Everyone? We're okay. We're safe. All of us.
Hey, get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will, yeah, we know ow, who you are. I will own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka Prowler, flipped on him and Roxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty good. This is where we come from. Good, Haley. Yeah, we did it. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from. Yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like, uh oh, 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 oh
all of these feelings and jealous Just cause I'm young and I'm careless Swing through the window, what I am I'm ready to go, she calling my phone Girl, I'm coming over I got something to prove, I shut it away Trip on a rooftop. Gotta fight for the truth and it's war. Don't let the city go dark. You know the swag they fell at the shoes. I kill them on me while I'm fighting a villain. She know what the deal is. The clip full of heroes. She made me move walk on the ceiling. Just ask, they know we the illest. Spidey sense of feel the vision. They really think they can get us. They checking the drip when I flip off the building. Yeah. uprising is a group known as the underground while the Roxxon corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits newly elected city councilwoman rio morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the vitals are good circulatory system healthy um brain activity normal he's been in there long enough mr osborne i understand he's your son but his I disease want him could to but we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out! Now! So I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth Jared's age. Wait, you're how old? Good heavens, man, get a real job about this friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. They claim this young Spider-Man can do anything. <laughs> well, I just used said app to place an order of Saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria, specifying I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of it. We shall see if our boastful boy, Spider-Man, can fulfill this. Here you go, Mr. Jameson. Gotta go. Jared, call 911. Spider-Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. Oh, darn, this isn't delicious. Go to commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh, no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jerry. Out. <laughs> 